Hi everybody, welcome to Catherine Sews. Today's a bit different for me because I'm not talking about sewing at all today. I'm going to tell you about a way I found to manage my fashion classroom that's helped me empower and engage my students, streamline things for myself, and promote my program to the rest of the school. So this is not about making more work for yourself, it's about some super practical ideas that are going to help you and your students. I use video a lot in my classroom, my own videos as well as videos from other content creators. And so if I want to recommend a certain video or a certain part of a video, I have to say to a student, go to this channel, click video, scroll down, find the one that's this, and then go to this section. And honestly, sometimes it's just easier for me to stop what I was doing and show them whatever I wanted them to learn there. I was trying to find ways to make that process easier and QR codes are really the magic bullet for that. QR codes or quick response codes have been around for a long time now. But actually, it's been the pandemic that I think has made people more comfortable using them. Every restaurant you go to, the menu is on the QR code now. And so people and my students have become very accustomed to just taking out their phone and scanning the QR code. You can scan any QR code with a QR code reader or just with your camera, and it leads you directly to a video or an article or anything that has a shareable link. But every time I show a teacher what I'm doing with my QR codes, they say, wow, that's so cool, what a great idea. I don't know how to do that but it's actually so easy. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make them, how to link them to a specific spot in a video, and a few great ways of how I use them in my classroom. So I've made videos about how to thread the machine, how to use the sergers, how to use rotary cutters, and I do project those videos and show everybody all at once so we're on the same page, but what happens if a student is absent that day or I get a new student? So last week they sent me two new students at the same time in an already big and busy class, and so I was able to say to them, okay, pair up, here's the QR code, you're gonna work together and learn how to thread the machine. Now, not every kid has a, has a phone on them and you don't wanna put any kids in an awkward situation, so pairing them up is great. So if you're able to have a, a tablet in your room that the kids can use, that kind of helps avoid any awkward situations for a kid that doesn't have their phone or just doesn't have it on them. I also have QR codes now in between all of the sergers. So any kid that needs a refresher on the serger can just go to that, that video and it's all right there for them. And over here by the rotary cutters, I've always had these eight safety tips that are also in my video on safety with rotary cutters, but honestly I've never ever seen a student stand here and read those eight tips, never. So I do show that video, but again, if a student is new to the class or was away that day, then there's the QR code that takes them directly to that video. And they have to watch that before they can use the rotary cutters. So to make a QR code that links directly to this video, all I'm gonna do is click share, copy that link, and then go into my favorite QR code generator. It's just the QR code generator.com and paste that URL in. It instantly creates this QR code that I don't even have to download, I can just copy and then paste into any document that I want. And perhaps an even simpler way to create a QR code is, let's say I wanted my students to be able to make this recipe. I'm gonna double click on this, anywhere on this screen, and there, look at that, create QR code for this page. Click on that, it gives me the cute one with a dinosaur. I can just download that. I can give it a different title, Chicken Pot Pie, and save it on my desktop. Good. And then from there, I can easily just insert that into any document. So that's actually amazing. And then I've used this poster for years now about making a pencil case for the grade eights. And it's great. I do show them the, the video for that step by step. And now what I've done is put the QR codes up for the video as a whole, but then also to each step, linking to each step. So if a kid is working ahead or has fallen behind, it really empowers them. They don't need to keep asking me to repeat. They can just come up, link directly to the step they need, and it's, it's pretty brilliant. Let's go to my YouTube buddy here. So let's take this one. There's Amy. Let's say I want to show them exactly this section where she does this awesome inset zipper. So I'm going to pause right there and then click share. And then there's the link. But if I click this, start at 125, it's going to take, take students directly to that spot in the video. Copy that. Go back into my QR code generator. Paste that and then copy and then paste that into 
whatever document I want to put that into. Now this QR code here now will link directly to that spot in the video. And so that is such a time saver for me and for the kids. Also for my senior fashion students, they get a choice of quilts to make. So they have three different quilts that they can choose that I found from the wonderful sewing program called Sewing with Nancy. And the video that I want them to use, these three variations of a nine patch, it's not on YouTube. And so it's on PBS Wisconsin. So there's not a way that I can see to link to a specific spot in that video. So I just write it on the handout. So this one starts right at the beginning of the video. This one starts at 1010. This one starts at 1510. So that's just written on there and they just have to jump forward. That works fine though. Now, if you want to print less and do fewer handouts, then you don't have to photocopy that whole handout with the QR code on it, but you still wanna give them all the rest of the information, right? So you can just print up the QR code that doesn't link to the video, but links right to the handout. So they can just open that handout right on their phone. If you do your word processing and share your document in the cloud, like a Google Doc, you can share that link so that and share it with anybody that has the link that QR code would link directly to your handout and then you don't you would just print up one probably put a title on it and then the kids can just scan that go directly to the handout so that works really well for them too when my students go to buy their fabric I usually do a handout like this or I used to do a handout like this with the pattern number the front cover and then as much information from the back of the envelope as I could find for them the screenshots I would take were really hard to read, especially after it's been photocopied, very blurry, it was not ideal. And then sometimes there were just too many options and too many different kinds of fabric. And so I ended up just putting a link there, but honestly, no student is ever gonna to wanna to type that in. And so from a paper handout, that's kind of useless. So now instead I can just go to that website where it they have all the information from the back of the envelope that I want the kids to have and it gives them a lot more information than I would be able to give them all right they can click on yardage so I, this is what I really want to give them I want to get them right to this exact web page so if I just copy that go to my QR code generator and then that is now a new QR code that I can just print on a paper. They can just take that to the fabric store. I can print one per student, or I can just print one, and then they can scan it right from the right from the classroom, and then they just have it on their phone. And mostly they prefer that because they know they're just gonna lose a piece of paper. So if they have that QR code on their phone at the fabric store, they have everything they need. Now, when we were in lockdown and um, we weren't seeing our kids face to face, then I was using Google Classroom. It was actually great because I could give a handout that had shareable links, clickable links like this. But now that we're back in, I don't I don't put my kids on Google Classroom. So we're just kind of taking a step backwards really and doing paper handouts again. I love this Edgar Artist. I love this as an assignment, but these clickable links don't work obviously if you're printing on paper. So instead I can go to the Instagram page that I want them to check out and this guy absolutely is fantastic copy that go into my QR code generator paste and then copy that so instead of having hyperlink there I'm going to remove the link and then instead I will just paste in the QR code you can shrink it down pretty small and it's still scannable. You can also choose to do it um, to wrap the text. So check out his Instagram page on the left. And then I could do the same for the video, just have a QR code that links directly to the video that I wanted them to see. Um, as long as you make the document shareable with anyone who has the link, then you can make a QR code that links to the document and there can be clickable links within that document. Just beware that formatting might get messed up when a student opens it up on their phone, which can be a problem if you're using tables and things like that. Over here, this is for my costuming class, and it's not a costuming class, it's really three kids in my senior fashion class. So it's already a big and busy class. Those kids have to be able to work pretty independently, because I need to come by and say, this is what I want you to do today, and then get on to helping everybody else. So for them, they have probably a different assignment every week, but 
there are the QR codes for different videos that I found on YouTube that I want them to watch all about costuming. And so, I, you know what, I don't even have to explain how to use it to the kids. I just say, there's a QR code for today. That's what I want you to watch. Do this assignment. And they just scan it. They don't even need any explanation. This is for the grade eights after their pencil case. We're already moving at a pretty quick pace and they're already getting it. They don't need the same degree of instruction anymore. So I don't always project the video to the whole class anymore, especially since they're all in a different step now. So instead, these are the QR codes linking to each day's step that I want them to complete. But what about outside the classroom where I want to promote my awesome program to the whole school? I recently posted a video on my channel and it's about my students fashion show displaying the wonderful work they did in semester one. It's great that it's up on YouTube but I want the whole school to see it to see what we do in the fashion program. So I made up posters that invite people to watch the show by scanning the QR code. And sometimes my students do projects that are not sewing but more research based such as the history of fashion, the elements and principles of design, the global fashion industry, etc. And I want their work to be professional and relevant. So rather than doing a paper based poster, I invite them to use a digital format. If they use PowerPoint, that's great, but it's a bit trickier to make that visible to the whole school. But if they do it in Google Slides, Prezi or Canva, which all have some really cool ways to design presentations, then there is a shareable link associated with that presentation. So then I can just get students to print a cover page for their presentation, including a QR code. We can have the poster board in the hallway and anyone passing by can scan and see the whole presentation. This is also great for when parents and other visitors are in the school. As for promoting myself, I can get a business card made up with a QR code linking to my YouTube channel or to my Instagram page or to a digital resume. And of course, you can add a QR code to a printed resume. QR codes have really changed the way that I manage my classroom and the kids have responded incredibly well to it. It's the first day I brought them in, the kids were like, can I have the QR code? Can I have the QR code? Like, it was fantastic. And then I hear my voice going in 10 different spots in the room sometimes, which is great. I feel like I've cloned myself and they've got 10 times the help. So my students are empowered, it makes them more independent, and it takes a lot of pressure off me to try to be everywhere all at once. If you are already using QR codes in your classroom or your workplace, I'd love to hear your ideas of how they've made life easier for you. Or if you've just been sparked with some other ideas of how I could be using them, I'd appreciate that too. So leave a comment below and I really do appreciate you joining and watching today. Next week, I'll be back with more sewing tips and projects. So I hope to see you back here again. And until that time, you take care.